when you have that view just over there. It's kind of like living in a screensaver. Growing up as a kid, I uh, always liked being outdoors. I learned a little bit about Iceland when I was at school studying geology. Fast forward 10 years later, I became a geologist and learned all this stuff, so Iceland was still in the back of my mind. The opportunity for Iceland arose, and this has been the third glacier in Iceland now I've guided on in the last nine months, and it's uh, going well. It's such a unique place. Tiny island surrounded by big water means a unique set of circumstances, which leads to amazing views. When the sun drops on the lakes, on the icebergs, you get that kind of alpen glow on the ice. That's a beautiful time to come on the glacier. During the trips, uh, explaining things like climate change and showing people without hearing sound bites on the news and just showing how the climate is being changed, that's an important part of the way I guide, and so this allows me to do that. If you've never been on a glacier before and you want to come on a glacier in Iceland, expect a hike, and that's all you really need to do. We take care of the rest. We will explain all the technical stuff, all this kind of scary equipment, all these crampons and things like that. All you need to do is put one foot in front of the other. We do the rest. Get outside, learn as much as you can about these beautiful things, because soon they'll retreat high in the mountains where it's quite difficult to access, especially the way we do in Iceland. We just walk straight on the glacier from the car park.